The day your cruise begins is really exciting, and there's a lot of good reasons beyond that excitement to get on a cruise ship as early as you can. Today, I've got all the reasons to check in as early as possible up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. As your Royal Caribbean cruise approaches, there's one important step you shouldn't overlook, and that's selecting an early check-in time. 45 days prior to your cruise, you can check into your sailing via the Royal Caribbean website or Royal Caribbean app. During the online check-in process, you'll upload identification documents, write credit card information, and most importantly of all, select a check-in time. Your check-in time is the time at which you can enter the cruise terminal on the first day of the sailing. The earliest check-in time is usually right around 10.30 a.m. or so, and the latest is sometime in mid-afternoon. And I would always recommend to get the earliest possible time available, but why? Because there's a lot of different times, but I think it's super critical to get there as early as you can. Here are 11 reasons why. Not 12, just 11. Number one, fewer crowds. Let's face it, one of the best reasons to get to an early check-in time is to avoid the crowds at the cruise terminal. The embarkation process is pretty straightforward, but it entails going through several lines before you can actually board your ship. First, you'll enter a line outside the terminal for other passengers with your same check-in time. Then, as you enter the terminal, you'll enter a line to have your documentation checked. Finally, you'll enter a line to go through security. Waiting in line is not anyone's idea of fun, don't get me wrong, but make sure you get an early check-in time to be among the first to get in the cruise terminal. Number two, if you're driving, a really good reason to get an early check-in time is for the best parking spots. If you have an early check-in time, you'll be among the first to arrive at the cruise terminal. And even though a thousand other passengers may have the same check-in time as you, there will be far less competition for a great parking spot compared to later in the day. If your check-in time isn't until maybe 1 p.m. or later and you plan to park your car in the lot, you might be stuck with one of the worst spots, or at least less desirable spots. Let's put it that way. Getting an early check-in time means you can snag the most coveted spots near the entrance to the closest garage to the terminal or even near the parking elevators, which is equally important. Speaking of parking, another really good reason to get an early check-in time is to avoid those parking garage delays. It's an all-too-common scenario now. You're ready to park your car, but are stuck in a long, slow-moving line of traffic. No one likes being stuck in traffic at any time, but especially when you're ready to board your cruise and you want to get on there already. Depending on your cruise ship, between 3,000 and 7,000 people will be boarding the ship on the same day. Managing thousands of people is never easy, and this can lead to crowds not only in the cruise terminal, but also in the parking garage. Avoid delays to park your car by selecting an early check-in time. If you're lucky, you'll be among the first to park your car, which will surely be quicker than later in the afternoon. This may seem obvious, but it's really important to note that if you get an early check-in time, you can start your vacation sooner. Who doesn't want to start their vacation as soon as possible? Having an early check-in time for a Royal Caribbean cruise means that you get your vacation started earlier than other passengers. The earlier you check in and then subsequently board your ship, the faster you can explore the ship, order your first cocktail, hang out in the jacuzzi, or anything else really fun. With the earliest check-in times, it's feasible to be on board by around 11.30 a.m. or so, allowing you to make the most of your first day on board. Now, if somebody comes on board later, like 1.30 or 2 o'clock, well, they're going to have less time on board the cruise. I mean, that's just the reality of things, right? So they're still going to have to take care of a number of things that we're going to talk about later in this video, but they're also going to have to do with less time than you had. So it's nice to have a more relaxing start to your day. Next up is the best selection of dining times. Royal Caribbean's dining packages can offer a great value for specialty restaurants, but they come with one major disadvantage. You cannot make reservations for dining reservations until you actually board the ship. This means you may be limited on dining times and restaurant availability compared to those who paid full price for each restaurant by booking their reservations without a dining package. And since dining packages are extremely popular, many other people who are coming on board will be rushing to make dining reservations on the first day. Popular dining times are somewhere between 6 and 7.30 p.m., and they can book up really quickly. So one way to snag the best dining times is by getting on board early and immediately heading to a specialty restaurant. Luckily, you can make reservations for all specialty restaurants at a single location, so there's no need to visit every single restaurant that you want to book a reservation for later. It is important to note, by the way, speaking of that, that Izumi Hibachi is kind of an exception if you plan to make hibachi reservations, be sure to go to Izumi once on board, take care of that. Beyond specialty dining though, you can be among the first to head to the main dining room to confirm or request reservations there. If you have a question about your dining time or want to request a new table, you can do so before other passengers arrive. Next up, let's keep the food theme going. Shorter lines for the buffet. Nothing screams first day of a cruise quite like rushing to the windjammer 
for Embarkation Day lunch. Royal Caribbean's buffet gets extremely busy on the first day as a lot of other people are, well, hungry and they want to have their lunch, start their vacation. One of the best advantages to having an early check-in time is you'll get on board before most other people, and this means getting to the Windjammer more quickly. If you're one of the first to board the ship, you're going to encounter far fewer lines and crowds at the buffet, making the start to your vacation much less hectic. Now, alternatively, you could choose to dine elsewhere instead of the buffet. Other restaurants are open on an vacation day. Depends from ship to ship exactly which venue it could be, but places like Chop's Grill or even a quick grab-and-go like Park Cafe can be open as well. And while the Windjammer is convenient, it can be uncomfortably busy on the first day of the cruise if you go there later in the afternoon. Next up, register your kids at Adventure Ocean quicker. If you're cruising with kids, well, it's a really good idea to drop off your kids at Adventure Ocean. And before you can do that, you're going to need to register them for the program on Embarkation Day. Adventure Ocean, which is Royal Caribbean Children's Programming, is complimentary for kids between the ages of 3 and 17 at most hours. But all children must be registered beforehand. The best time to register kids for Adventure Ocean is on Embarkation Day, and the registration usually opens in the afternoon. Registration only takes a few minutes, but you'll want to avoid the lines you might find later in the afternoon. And the earlier you register your kids at Adventure Ocean, the less you have to worry about, and sooner you can start trying to find fun activities on board. Speaking of activities, this is one of the best times to take advantage of all those fun activities before everybody else. Because the sooner you get on board, the sooner you can try things like the Flow Rider, Rock Climbing Wall, and Water Slides. Not all passengers know that these activities are open as soon as you board the ship, leading to far fewer lines and wait times. If you're eager to try the zip line, head to the sports deck right after lunch. Unlike on a busy sea day, you might be one of the only people in line allowing you to fly across the zip line several times in a row with no wait. Be sure to confirm activity times in the Royal Caribbean app in the, during the daily schedule, of course, to make sure the activity you're interested in is actually open. And it's a really good idea to be wearing tennis shoes on Embarkation Day just in case so that we can participate in these kinds of sports activities. Another good reason to get an early check-in time is you can reserve entertainment activities before other passengers. There are certain activities and production shows that must be reserved in advance, and spots can fill up quickly. Comedy shows, the escape room, and the North Star Observation Pod are all examples of activities that require reservation. Luckily, you could pre-book some entertainment activities ahead of time on the Royal Caribbean Cruise Planner website. Broadway shows, for example, can be reserved at no extra cost, starting 30 days before your cruise. So I recommend doing this to ensure you can get the best day and time that works for you. But some activities can only be reserved once on board. If you're sailing on a quantum class ship and want to try Ripcord by iFly, which is the ship's indoor skydiving simulator, you're going to need a reservation. While you can make a reservation for the paid option of this activity before your cruise, like for the two-minute flight option there, the complimentary option, which is the one-minute flight, is only available to book on board. The limited amount of complimentary flights will be up more quickly than you think, so you will have to have an advantage by getting in as early as you can, and having an early check-in time gives you a head start on reserving these activities. And if your goal is to relax, of course, well, you could be the first at the pool. Crowded pool decks are a more common sight on a cruise ship, but not really on an embarkation day. If you want to avoid crowds, pack your swimsuit and your carry-on bag and head to the pool right after you get on board. Embarkation day is perhaps the most empty you'll see a cruise ship during your entire cruise vacation. With so much happening on the first day, from exploring the ship to unpacking, many cruisers wait to use the pool until later in the cruise. Plus, most passengers don't think to bring a bathing suit in the carry-on bag. If they drop off their luggage with the porters at the cruise terminal, well, they're going to be swimsuitless for the majority of embarkation day. Even so, you can still encounter crowds at the pool on the first day, especially if you're on a short weekend cruise. But having an early check-in time means you can eat lunch and change into your bathing suit before most other passengers have boarded the ship. And the last really good reason to get an early check-in time is because of your hotel checkout. Many people stay at a hotel the night before their cruise begins, especially if they fly to the cruise port. Most hotels require you to check out around 11 a.m., which coincides perfectly with their earliest check-in times for a Royal Caribbean cruise. If you need to check out of your hotel at 11 a.m., but your check-in time isn't until 2 p.m. for your cruise, this could lead to several hours waiting around with your luggage. Getting the earliest check-in time possible means that you can wake up, have breakfast, and then head to the cruise terminal as soon as you're check out of your hotel without any gaps in the time there. So there you have it, 11 reasons you should get as early as possible check-in time for your Royal Caribbean cruise. Let me know in the comments below which of these is the most important, and did we miss any really good reasons to get an early check-in time? While you're down there below our video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. That way, YouTube Plus can have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. We'll talk again real soon.